Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have spent the last few days filling up multiple raised garden beds from Birdie's raised garden beds with tons and tons of soil. And I've got to go to work today, so I can't continue the process and fill up the other beds that I've started over on this side. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to plant some potatoes, we're going to plant some garlic that has been sitting around waiting for this moment, and we're going to plant asparagus for the first time. I wanted to have had more time to read up on this, but I just haven't. And to be honest, I've never even eaten asparagus, so we're just going to pop it in the ground see how it does. I'm going to pop it in this far bed over here because from what I've seen, they get kind of ferny and unattractive. So I want it to be far away from my visual field, but it needs to be in this area because in winter and in early spring, this will be where the sunlight is. We have got some Dutch cream potatoes. We've got one bag of those and we've got two bags of a Nicola potato. Um, I don't even remember ordering a Nicola potato, but I definitely did because we got two bags. So what I was thinking is I would put them in this slightly narrower bed and this can just be a potato bed for now. Um, and that will be the way it goes. One of these wider beds is what I'm going to use to put the asparagus in because my understanding is that asparagus um, can have extremely deep roots but on that far away bed it's got weed matting underneath it because I ran out of cardboard um, so I don't think the asparagus will be able to pierce through the weed matting although it might I don't know I haven't <laughs> researched this yet but um, what I am hoping is that by putting it in a bigger bed it can at least um, spread its roots sideways as there's more soil and I just won't plant um, other things that might go deep uh, other root crops and things like that in that bed um, unless they're a particularly good companion plant for asparagus but we're learning we'll see how we go this is the learning gardener it's a first time so let's get into it and see how we go huh. pH of exactly seven it's not bad so the pH reading is seven and that means that before I plant things like my blueberries I'm gonna need to add probably some soil acidifier The Dutch cream potatoes took up half that bed and they're a lot smaller than the Nicola potatoes. So I fertilized up this bed and I'm gonna pop some potatoes in this one. Ultimately the plan was to do um, like a square foot gardening type plan for the beds because I wanna be able to mix in flowers and not just have it be vegetables. But to be honest, the book and the guide have only just arrived from Amazon and I've been so busy hauling soil that I haven't had a chance to actually look at it. And I have added blood and bone and a veggie mix um, 
fertilizer slow release that is high in nitrogen. Um, the reason I've added that, even though I sprung for the extra of getting um, an expensive veggie mix um, soil for the beds, um, I guess it's not a soil, but a veggie mix compost for the bed rather than um, some of the cheaper options. Um, the reason I put the fertilizer in is because I don't actually, I don't know how good quality the soil is. I couldn't get it tested. I don't know what the nitrogen levels are like in here. Um, all I know is the pH is seven. Um, so I wanted to make sure I had some nutrition in there. I'm fairly sure there is some in there because I have found a lot of apple stickers in there, but Still, I'm going to mix this in and get to planting because I want to make sure there is some food in there for the plants until my own compost gets going and then I plan to just rely on compost. So the last potatoes recommended a 10 centimeter depth. These ones are recommending 20 centimeters. The Nicola potatoes took up more than three quarters of that bed, so now in the ends I'm just going to add gourmet selection garlic. Okay, so everything is watered in. I put, a, I put one cauliflower, one cabbage, a few leftover spinach that I had in the um, Dutch cream potato and garlic bed, which is this one right here behind me. And I'm not gonna mulch it in just yet because I still have to put the um, black safety rims on the Birdie's raised garden beds, which I haven't got around to and I just, I don't have the energy for today. I'm all done for the day, I think. I am going to head home and start getting ready for work 
and I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and I hope you guys have had fun and found this video interesting and hopefully I will see you in the garden again very soon. Bye.